one. Hey, it's Pat. We're at the Progressive uh, International Motorcycle Show here in Cleveland, Ohio. And I've got a guy here that I've never met before. I'm really excited about it. I think we've run in some of the same circles, but somehow haven't ever ended up meeting each other. Jack Degazio, good Irish name, he says. And uh, Jack, uh, welcome to, to Cleveland with this bike. Uh, do you have a shop? Where are you from? I've got a shop in Syracuse, New York. It's a little shop that's right attached to my house, and I do everything right, right out of that garage. All right, is that Moon Custom Cycle Shop? No. What is that? That is out of California. That's out of I thought so. I was like, man, I, I think I think you're going to have some uh, trademark infringement on that. <laughs> What's the name of your shop? It's, uh, oh, what the heck do I call it? Suicide Jacks Customs. Suicide Jacks Customs, all right. And, uh, Jack, how long have you been building bikes? Uh, since late 70s. All right, so you're old school. And you hang out at the Rats Hole uh, show, don't you, a little bit? Yeah, I was chief judge, but I resigned, and I uh, started doing the boardwalk show in uh, Daytona. All right, cool. Both both great shows, great bikes in those shows. So those, those are the circles we both run in that we just have ended up not meeting each other. Tell me about the bike that you brought here uh, to the Cleveland uh, Progressive International Motorcycle Show. I started with a, uh, I'm a, I'm an old shovel head guy, so I always stay with that. So I found an old 74 shovel on eBay that was blown up, and uh Took it, you know, I got it sent to me, rebuilt the whole motor, uh, ordered a Paco wishbone frame. Buddy of mine, an old Harley dealership, he lost it, but he found me a 46 front end for it. I know I wanted the old Springer on it. I put a RevTech tranny in it, and I wanted to make an old, old bobber modern, you yeah. know what I mean? And uh, I had another buddy of mine find me the old white wall Soho Firestone tires. That I mean, that's as white as you're going to get the tires. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Those, those old tires. That's good, man. That you can tell that's the that's the real deal on that stuff. So, uh, now, um, what on this bike? Uh, you've got a lot of beautiful pieces on here. What on here did you have to 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 either change or actually make yourself? Well, the oil tank is two fire extinguishers cut in half and welded back together, and we had a take our oil lines and our gas lines we had to bend them all uh, to what you see there and did you then have those cap uh, coated in brass then yes. okay. yeah I sent them off the space coast plating in Florida and they all right it's beautiful color what do you call that it's called matte copper matte copper it's beautiful and uh, now the uh, I love all of the brass accents that you've got who did your leather work on the seat that's Dwayne Ballard out of California I thought I recognized that style. Uh, that style. Uh, shout out to Dwayne Ballard and, and his wife Lisa. Great people. Love love the hell out of those folks. And uh, well, man, I tell you, it's a beautiful bike. You've done superb work. Great craftsmanship. I love the upswept pipes. I'm a huge fan of shovel heads. I like the treatment on the uh, spark plug wires and everything with the old wires. Uh, it just doesn't get much better than that. Uh, Jack, you know. Uh, it's one of the nicest bikes in the JMP Cycles uh, Custom Bike Show here at the uh, Progressive International Motorcycle Show. So, man, I tell you, good luck, and I, I don't think you're going to need luck because you brought a lot of skill. Thanks so much for being with us at the Progressive International Motorcycle Show. Hey, guys, check us out on uh, social media. Check, check us out on Facebook. we got a lot of these builder interviews coming your way. Thanks for watching this one.